Okay, the uh, Waterford had covered bridges at both Upper Waterford and Lower Waterford in the 1800s. Um, this uh, Lower Waterford bridge, it, it didn't all go out in one in one piece. Uh, Val Polson of the Polson family across the river told me that there was a New Hampshire end beyond the center pier that went out, and there was every intention of rebuilding it. But and they put some poles down to support the, the free end that was dangling in the air. Uh, but in the, in the next spring, the high water and uh, whatever kind of lifted it right off the center pier and dumped the rest of the bridge in the river. But this is uh, Grandpa's conception of what it's like. It's, uh, it's what's called a two-act covered bridge, which is a little difficult to see um, unless you're <laughs> kind of down on your knees with a flashlight. Um, I don't know the length of it. Uh, once in a great while, water in the Comerford Reservoir will be low enough so that you can uh, see the Vermont side pier, or, or the Vermont shore, and uh, Craig Brown of the History Book uh, Group has actually seen the center pier. Um, but that bridge was never rebuilt, and uh, so all the traffic had to go through Upper Waterford to uh, to get across the river.